Hello everybody, hope you all are having a, a fantastic day. Uh, today I've got a topic that I'm super passionate about and it affects pretty much everybody that I know. It affects me and I'm almost certain that it affects you too and that is making exercise or making your health a priority and fitting it into your daily life or your busy schedule. So a lot of us come up with different excuses when it comes to exercise, you know, don't have enough time for it, don't have enough money, or it's too hard, whatever it might be. Uh, we all seem to think of different types of excuses to kind of justify us not wanting to work on our health and our fitness. So I wanna give you guys a few different tips, practical things that you can implement in your life uh, to hold yourself a little bit more accountable and make sure that you guys do fit it in uh, to your busy schedule. So one thing that I recommend doing, and this is actually an exercise that Summer had us do as employees, and it's mapping out your entire schedule for a week. Be super detailed about it and actually put it on paper and color code it. Make, make it really detailed. And uh, what I want you to do is pick a color for all the free time that you guys have throughout your day. So uh, we actually did this exercise with one of our coaches, Coach Todd, and he doesn't mind us uh, sharing this story, but uh, basically he mapped out his whole schedule. He said he didn't have time for certain things. He didn't have time to throw an exercise into his daily life. He didn't have time uh, to do other things too. So we had him map out his entire schedule for the week, day by day, hour by hour. And he color coded all of his free time in blue. And uh, we took a look at his schedule and we're like, Todd, what do you see on there? He said, that's a lot of blue. <laughs> So you might find the same thing uh, with your schedule or if your schedule is completely booked, you might see different things that you could kind of move around to different spots uh, in order to fit that exercise into your routine. So that's just one little practical tip that you guys can take. Another one is exercise stacking. So uh, we all think that, you know, in order to have all the benefits of exercise, we have to get in a 45 minute session, we have to get an hour session or even, even just a half hour session in uh, all consecutively. Uh, well, actually, there is a, a method called exercise stacking. So what you could do is break it up into segments. If you only have little time slots here and there, but you don't have that full half hour, you could do 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the afternoon, 10 minutes in the evening, and throughout the day, that's actually gonna keep your metabolism up throughout the day, and you're gonna still get the benefits of exercising. Um, so that's one little quick thing that you guys can do uh, is just break it up into little different time segments. You can do 10 minutes, you can do 15 minutes, you can do five minutes, whatever it might be. Just also remember that some is better than none and done is better than perfect. So not every day is gonna be completely perfect. You're not gonna hit that home run every single day, but what you can do is hit those base hits. You could get in you know, a couple 10 minute workouts a day and over time that's gonna add up and imagine the benefits of that compared to you doing absolutely nothing. So it, it's, it's definitely worth it, even though I know 10 minutes doesn't really seem like a whole lot, trust me, you guys are gonna see a huge difference in it too. Um, so this part I am extremely passionate about. We have to stop looking at exercise as, as something that you know we don't need in our life. We need to stop looking at exercise as a luxury. Exercise is not the same as going out and shopping or going out and you know getting your eyebrows done or anything like that. Yes, those things might make you feel good, but this stuff is actually affecting your health. So exercise is not something to take lightly. This is something that needs to be a priority in your life. This is a necessity. And does it cost a lot? You know, I hear it, I hear it all the time, you know, well, it costs too much money to see results. Well, yeah, it does cost a lot of money, but uh, you're adding, you're literally adding years onto your life. Think about the money that you're gonna spend um, if you're sick, you, you know, spend time or spend money or time on your wellness now so you don't have to spend time or money on your sickness later. And another thing that you guys can do is just get in the mindset, or this is gonna help you get in the mindset, uh, like I said, rather than thinking of it as a luxury, but thinking of it as a necessity, is remember how it makes you feel. There's some people that have, uh, have not exercised in a while, they didn't realize how bad they actually felt before until they exercised and saw how good that they feel. So anytime that you guys think about giving up, anytime that you think about just not, you know, skipping your workout for the day or skipping an entire week of workouts or, or whatever it might be, think about how exercise makes you feel each time. I always feel a million times better after. Yeah, sometimes it's tough to get in, but what, what drives me is knowing the results that I'm gonna get or knowing how it makes me feel um, when I do get done with my exercise for the day. And not only is it gonna make you feel good for that day, but it's gonna make you feel good for the rest of the week too. So keep it up and know that it's just, it's, it's worth it. It's gonna make you feel better. You're gonna see results not only in how you feel or how you look, but also in your, in your blood tests and your different results like that too. So 
Um, like I said, there are so many benefits of exercise that we all know of, but we just really have to make it a priority in our life and think of it as a necessity. This is, this is your life that we're talking about right here. This isn't just going out and shopping and buying something. This is, this is your life. You're actually adding years onto your life too with it. So um, I hope this is motivational to you guys. I hope that uh, you guys take some of these tips and apply it to your daily life. So remember that exercise stacking is, is one of them planning out your schedule. And one more thing also with your schedule, I found that the earlier that you get your exercise in for the day, uh, the easier it is, the longer that you wait. I know that sometimes we're forced to wait just with what our what our job is, or you, know, you might have to wake up early for work and then have to do it later. But uh, if you can get your exercise in early in the day, it's gonna be a lot easier. You know, you have a lot more energy in the morning than you do after going through a long day of work. You're dragging. Uh, and you, you know, you just want to go home, but still, like I said, even if you do find yourself in that situation, really change your mindset, think of it, uh, the benefits, how it's going to make you feel and, um, you know, make sure you get that in through your daily routine or through your weekly routine too. So like I said, hopefully this helps you guys, you know, apply this to your daily life right now. And, uh, if you guys do need anything, or if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. We would love to help you guys. All right. Hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.